Another player, uh, coach, I was confused why they fired David Culley. What was the point of hiring him when you knew Deshaun Watson? With him gone, you had no good players on your team. Uh, you had Brandon Cooks, which is he's been really good the past few years. Um, he's actually the past few years he's top five in stats um, over the past five years, and he's played really well. Uh, but you have Rex Burkhead as your running back. Then your number two receiver is Danny Amendola, who's I hate to say it, but he's kind of over the hedge, like Bruce Willis uh, playing the raccoon in that movie about them stealing food from uh, suburban housewives. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so David Culley, like, what do you expect? He's starting a rookie quarterback in Davis Mills and Ty Ty Tyrod Taylor. I mean, I thought they overperformed this season, even with their poor record. I agree. I mean, Davis Mills, I'm pulling up his stats right now. As he looked speak. competent. I, he thought. Looked, I mean, we're looking at all the quarterbacks from this year, like, Trevor Lawrence didn't look the greatest. Zach Wilson looked pretty terrible at points. Mac Jones looked horrible, as Ma some people in Boston would say. Mac Jones, up and down year, I would say. Justin Fields looked probably the most solid. Yeah. I mean, he had Matt Nagy, so we'll see how he plays next year. Most promised, probably. You have Davis Mills, Dougie Mills. And we're talking about he's throwing to 36-year-old Amendola. Don't forget Trey Lance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. Mid-average. Not a fan. Um... And yes, there were some games that they looked egregious, like the Carol, uh, the Buffalo game when they got shut out and he threw four picks. I understand that, but against the Patriots, against that stellar defense, let them up, let them up. Tennessee, you, know, you like that? Yeah, Tennessee got some wins that they really just didn't deserve. Beat the Chargers, actually lit up the Chargers. He that's just, the, that's he knocked the Chargers out of the playoffs, basically. Tennessee, you didn't win the game, but I mean. 69% completion, 300 yards, three touchdowns. You like that? I like that. If I told you, Justin Herbert, all you have to do to make the playoffs is beat Davis Mills. I'm going mean, to do it. You're going to do it? Nah. No. Oh. Nah. Nope. I mean, they're not in my division. I'm not too familiar with them, but still. Oh, David Coley care. didn't deserve to get fired. I'm so, like, why did you hire him? I, like, I'm just so confused. It's just more dysfunction by the Houston Texans. They're like, oh, we held on to Bill O'Brien so long that Way too long. we need to immediately fire any coach who has a losing record from here on out. I mean, you lost to Sean Watson, who, when he plays, is a top five quarterback in the NFL. I will say it was a, que a questionable hire, but it looks even more questionable now because it's like, why? You hired a coach that has all this experience in the NFL. He's been an assistant coach for 45 years. 45 yeah. years in the NFL. And then he doesn't really get a fair chance. Like I thought he was a good coach, and I think he deserves another job. Oh, yeah. Get him another job. I don't even think he coached that poorly. I mean, he had some games where the talent just wasn't there. I mean... A lot of these blowout games are against teams that are significantly more talented. Even Carolina. I mean, Carolina's not a good team. But against the Texans, I mean, who do the Texans have? Their defense sucks. Their offense sucks. Their O-line is trash. Their running backs, they have the David Johnsons of the world, who some may say is worth a top five wide receiver. Probably. Oh, no, probably. no, no, no. The best receiver in the NFL. The yeah. best receiver in the NFL. Yeah. And you could pair him with, oh, a top five quarterback in the NFL. You think that's a good combo? Yeah, probably. Oh, no. You know what we should do? We should uh, trade for a bust who is injury riddled like David Johnson. So it's like that. That's just pretty terrible. And you know how bad the Houston Texans offensive line is? Deshaun Watson had to drive to a game because he had a punctured lung because of us his offensive line is so bad they let him get hit so many times he got a punctured lung so he wasn't even able to fly and he had to drive to a football game that doesn't get much worse than that no and you lost jj watt um you really i can't name a player on their defense i can't either yeah you have no pro bowlers on your defense you have no pro bowlers on offense so it's just like Houston, what are we doing here? The best thing that could happen to the Texans is, for one, ownership. Get the fuck out of there. Get out. Bob McNair. I don't know if it's still Bob McNair. I think it's his son now. I think he passed away. Um, but their franchise is a dumpster fire. You fired your coach after one year, which I'm not saying he was an amazing coach. I'm not saying that. But, like, you have a rebuilding team. I mean, look at, for example, a team that by no means is uh, – 
top of the line franchise in the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions won three games, but they kept them. You know why? Because they're rebuilding. Yeah. The Jets sucked this year, but you know what they're doing? They're keeping them, letting it marinate a little bit. You know why? Because they're rebuilding. Texans, are you any different from the Jets or yeah. the Lions or the Jaguars? You're- no. He didn't even kick a player in practice. I mean, Urban Meyer was a pl- uh, coach who's first year fire because, you know. He was the worst coach I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, he may be the worst coach in NFL history. But speaking of ownership change, you know who should be the new owner of the Texans? Who? Uh, it's me. I've made a lot of speeches to high-level interests. They paid me a lot of money to do it. And I've acquired enough assets that I'm going to purchase the Houston Texans. Barack Obama. Is that is he talking about doing that? He should. That'd be interesting. Uh, my fellow Americans. Uh, my fellow Americans. My uh, first order of business, we're going to trade uh, Deshaun Watson to the Miami Dolphins for <laughs> Tua Tango Bailoa and uh, four first-round picks. Uh, Tua is a nice young man. Uh, my friend Will Smith uh, worked out with him in the offseason this year. 